plank steak. And now you prepare that? You season it like that. Whatever you like, really. Salt and pepper's easy, but if you like something else, you can make something else. And once you have that seasoned, you get the pan you're gonna use, black orange skillet, something heavy duty you can put some heat to. And then, once it's done, you, you see the lines go this way and the meat go this way. Once it's done, you slice it crossways to the grain, and it's tender, very tender. Makes good fajitas, it makes good steaks to just eat like that. Makes great sandwiches. And you always wash your onions? Always, because I don't know how dirty that skin is. You see how dirty that skin is? Yeah. Do you <clears throat> want to get sick eating something that's not healthy? I don't think so. So Mr. I'm going to keep Sherry, it healthy. Mia, uh, can you identify me those bell peppers? Which ones are male and which ones are Yes, are Richard. I learned from a guy named Richard Guidry that the count the humps, if it's three humps, it's supposed to be a male. And if it's four humps, it's supposed to be a female. That's what I was told. I yeah. don't know that that's true. Oh, you can't admit it. It's me that told you, and now you know more. Yeah. I just said it was you. you. I just something. told you I don't know if I can believe it. <clears throat> there is a difference, you know. And, who, and whose kitchen is this you're doing all this? This is Stephen and Shaley Sheridan's <clears throat> kitchen. And that's a very a, nice kitchen. Well set up to do all kind of good cooking. I mean, uh, they, where they live at? They live in Katy, Texas. Yeah. Katy Fullshire, actually. And it's a, a beautiful house. Well, that's what you do for a living, you cook? I would love to be able to cook for a living, but I have to do real work. Yeah. So I work in the oil industry. Yeah. What you do in the oil industry? Can you look at me for a while? Can I not cut my fingers with a very sharp knife? Well, what is this you cut? This is onions for our fajitas for this evening. Okay. Slicing it thinly, long ways, so that they all cut, cook evenly. If you've been paying attention, Mr. Guidry, you'll notice that I've cut all of the vegetables, roughly all the same thickness and length, just so that when we cook them, they all cook evenly. Everything will be done at the same time. You won't have a crunchy bell pepper and a soft, mushy onion. Did you ever cut your fingers? Oh, yes. I've cut my fingers many times. One time I cut it so bad I had to get a silver nitrate stick to stop the bleeding. It was bad. That was pretty serious. I cut the end of my thumb off and put it in a chili. Lucky your wife is a nurse. Well, that's why I didn't have to end up going. And when I got there, everybody was mad at me. But accidents happen with short objects. Okay. Appreciate the interview. Have a good night.